Hello, beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today, I'm going to be giving you the lowdown on the Leah Whistle box set, and of course, the new boxes they're making and the new silver-plated Leah Whistle as well. Now, I have made reviews for Leah Whistles before. Um, I've got these in all sorts of keys, so do check out my other videos. I will link them in the description down below. Obviously, all my opinions on these whistles still stand. They are amazing little whistles, and I absolutely love them. Um, and obviously, my disclaimer, I don't get paid to make any of these reviews. I'm not asked to say anything in particular about these whistles. I do get sent free stuff, but it doesn't affect my opinion on products. Guys, I always tell you the truth and what I think about them. Um, so let's get into details about the whistle set, this case, and have some fun playing Leah whistles. Now, you guys will remember from previous videos that Leah whistles used to come in pouches and in some sort of cardboard box. Now, I will show that on screen here, which is from a previous video that I made on these whistles. But recently, they've started creating these hard boxes. And these are the sort of boxes that you get flutes and things in um, your general instrument cases, but designed for tin whistle, which I think is amazing. Now, this case is a leather effect finish with the Leah logo on the front here. You can see we have a carry handle, some silver clasps which keep everything secured in the box and some hinges at the back so if you open these clasps and you lift the top of the box you'll see your whistle selection inside now these cases can be made for any number of whistles that you have from Leah um, and they're designed obviously to fit the whistles in the keys that you have or they can be made in single cases for individual whistles if you have those as well if you remove one of the whistles you can see that the inside here you'll see a gap for that particular key of whistle. Um, it's that sort of suede effect finish stuff and it's padded at the top here as well. So you just slide your whistles into those slots and it keeps them all nice and safe and protected, especially great if you're traveling or if you're gigging, you're going to a session and you want to take your full set with you. This will keep them safe and it makes a really easy way to carry them with you as well. Now the full set of Leah whistles at the moment is an E flat, D, C, B flat and A whistle. They are working on low whistles though I haven't received any yet. Um, I don't think they're available at the time this video goes out but they probably are if you check back in future. Um, I will be getting some of those to try them on the channel. Even if they don't send them to me I'll buy them because I am really excited to see how those sound and how those perform in comparison to the high whistles. But I'll give you a quick playthrough of each one of these whistles in the set just so you can hear how they sound in the different keys and I'll give you some quick close-ups of them as well. Leah whistles are tunable so you can adjust the tuning. They do come tuned a little on the sharp side but they do uh, hit their optimum tuning as you play them as the whistles warm up. These are the brass inside and chrome plated whistles. As you go down you can see there's E flat written on the bottom here, the key, and there are also rings on the whistle that tell you the key of the whistle as well. They're a straight body whistle, nice mouthpiece, beautifully finished, and they're really comfortable in the mouth, which is one of the reasons I like these whistles. You can see as you go down in size or get larger in size, you get more rungs on the end of your whistle and that relates to the whistle key. So that if you have these in a bag or on the side, you can just check these rungs, even if you can't see the letter note on your whistle and you know which key of whistle you have. On the lower whistles, the holes do get a little bit larger. This is the A whistle and as you can see, uh, that fifth hole at the bottom is quite large, so if you have thin fingers or slender fingers, you might want to switch to a piper's grip just to cover that. But the finger spacing on these is nice, um, they're not difficult to play, the high whistles. Um, you can use a piper's grip or you can still reach with your finger pads as well. And that's an A whistle, which is a mid-range whistle between low and high. Now Leah mentioned in their interview with me that they also do engraving on whistles. You can see that this one has Cutie Pie or Stephanie on the back here, which is just a nice little personal touch for your whistles. It's useful if you're giving gifts or wedding gifts, or you just want your name on your whistle if you're going out um, with other people with Leah whistles as well. It's just a nice finishing touch, so you can get personal engraving on these whistles as well.
Now I've had these whistles for a while, you can see that they haven't tarnished, they have been played an awful lot on my channel and they haven't lost any of their beautiful finish. Leah have now switched from chrome plating their whistles to silver plating their whistles. The only silver plated whistle I have has come in an individual Leah whistle case. Again we have the clips here and if I open up inside you'll see an individual whistle in its individual little box. Again this is padded here at the front and on the top and on the inside and if I take the whistle out you can see the space for it right here in the box as well. There's no better protection for your whistles than in a case like this. Um, it's a genuine hard instrument case and it makes whistles instruments, real instruments in the real world, which we as enthusiasts all know they are, but a lot of people seem to think they aren't. Now this is the silver plated D whistle. Again, the same applies, it's tunable. It has the signature mouthpiece. The design itself is the same other than the fact that this is silver plated brass rather than chrome plated brass. You've got the rungs and the key on the bottom here. And if I turn this over, you'll see that it says silver plated on the back. And that is to distinguish these from previous Leo whistles that weren't silver plated. Now, I haven't played this one yet and I haven't had this one very long, so I don't know if it will tarnish. I presume Leah have tried this themselves, but of course you can get silver polish anyway. So if you wanted to keep this beautiful, bright and shiny and it, you find it did tarnish, you would be able to polish it lightly with silver polish anyway. Now, one thing I did want to show you guys is the direct comparison between the chrome and silver D whistles. The top one is the original chrome and the bottom is the silver plated whistle. Again, these are both brass whistles, but just plated with chrome or silver. You can see a colour difference in the two, the top being slightly darker, that's the chrome, and the bottom being slightly lighter and brighter, which is the silver. Now, as I've mentioned, I don't know how or if the silver will tarnish. I will get back to you if it does and show you guys that in future. But you can see a colour difference and finish difference between the two different materials. As for sound difference on these, there is a slight noticeable sound difference. The silver brings um, a sweeter and warmer tone and the chrome gives a slightly sharper, louder tone. They're both gorgeous, so I'm going to play the same tune. So you guys hopefully will be able to hear the difference between these two if I play this tune directly. Now, as for noticeable differences between the silver plated and the chrome plated, the chrome plated is slightly heavier and the silver plated seems definitely lighter. The silver plated body, although I don't know for sure, seems slightly thinner, but the tone is definitely sweeter. And these whistles are still strong and sturdy because they're brass underneath anyway. Um, yeah, you've heard how they sound, you've seen how they look. Um, and obviously you've seen the cute little cases that you guys can get for these as well, just to keep these super secure. So that is about all I can show you for these whistles today. I hope you guys do enjoy these reviews. If you do, please hit that big thumbs up button. Let me know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe so you guys can get more videos like this. Um, and of course, if you want to help out the channel and support this sort of content, you can support me on either Coffee or Patreon, where you guys can also get rewards for your monthly contributions as well. Um, don't forget if you want to purchase your own Leah whistles, you'll find links in the description down below. I don't get commissions for these, it is all for you guys. There's also a 10% discount code as well that you guys can use, which um, again you'll find linked down below too. Don't forget if you want to see my other reviews, you'll also find those here on screen now and the interview that I did with Leah recently just to clarify what happened last year when whistles didn't quite make it to customers. That is all behind them now and they are back on track, which is great news because we love playing these little things. Thanks for watching. Happy whistling. I'll see you guys very soon for more cool tin whistle stuff. Until then, have fun. <laughs> Bye.